Bruce goes off the skate out to center. Nimala has to be careful. Haneman, who has a shorthanded goal in this tournament, almost had an opportunity there. Nikonen carries it back in, shovels it over for Parsonen. Takes it off the sideboards, back for Hanela. Hanela trying to drive that through, it's deflected wide. 15 seconds left for the man advantage. Lundell down to the goal line. In front, Pugio with the shot, that never got through. That's good. Terrific Gets this pass by Hervinen. Here comes Lundell again. Lundell to the short side. Soderblom in on the fourth check, but cleared away. Here comes Putia. Putia with the wrist shot. Another 3-2 victory for Sweden. Deacon in with the wrist shot, and all the leaves for Raymond. Raymond trying to find some space against Nimala. Raymond on the wraparound. And you can add three to those totals, because that's where it sits now, three apiece. Pugge on the screen shot, all the fell did not see it. Comes off the backboards to the side of the net. And now we have a pile up in all the felt. Looks as though he may be shaken up. Stretch it out, and back in the net. Raymond is on it. Raymond sends it back to the line. Johansson back for Raymond. Raymond walks it in. Fire scores! And then Raymond keeps it alive. And a little bit of catch with Johansson comes back down. And then a little bit of deception. Oh, what a play. You can't teach that. You can tell players about deception, but as Pironen has to go the other way, Raymond buries That's the it. goal by Lucas Raymond. He looks... Gives this fake with the stick. Moves the goaltender over. Linnaeus is huge, right? But Raymond always finds ways to twist, turn, get get under an opponent. Gutia keeping an eye on it. And on the pressure now is Kokanen. Raymond on the power play. Plays it for Soderblom. Scores! Because he's just continuously progressed. Raymond a little fake. Moves everybody around. And then feeds Soderblom, where Soderblom gets the puck on the move and then pulls it in front between the legs, up and over the shoulder, off the blocker a little bit. There's Raymond again, looking the other way, looking people off. Back to the power play, second power play of the game. Slap shot, save, rebound. Up at center. Roselius took a run at his man over on the far side. Back to the line, it comes, a shot, that got cleared away. Raddy tries to work it off the backboards. Raddy sends it back to the right point, trying to hold it in. Nimala does, sends it around. Butia tried to work it free, got spilled, shot from the line. All the felt didn't see it until late, but it went off the side of the net. Wrist shot, blocker save, Pukia, let that one go. All the call. Punch that one away. At the line for Nemo. Little stutter step, lets the shot go. All the felt the save. And across for Lambert for Vero. Vero back pass score. Great pass by Vero and Henry Nikonen. And now he zips it right to Lambert, right on the move. And then the backhand pass over to Henry Nikonen. And Finland's right back into this game. But when you are moving with speed and you can open up an isolated defender two on one, it's exactly what Vero moving up the ice and Lambert did. 5.32, the official time of the goal. Hanela lines his way in. Hanela dishes it off. Back to our play score! Ronnie! Lars Eric Schoberg, war number four. Watch this little move and maneuver. And then surrounded, he's never surrounded. Makes the great play, opens it up. And Aku Raddy finishes it. What a shift around Johansson. The puck skills, the awareness, and what a brilliant play by Hainole getting that all started. And yep, the little general war number four for the Winnipeg Jets in the WHA days. Sweden is challenging to play for offside. So we have a challenge, an offside challenge. Yeah. After review, the play was offside. There's no goal. Oh, 
Shot save made by Piroin and skip away from him. And Olison will carry it in. Oscar Olison. Little stutter step, buys himself some space, lets the shot go. Good. Lundell walks it in. Save made all of the rebound. What a chance in front of the net. Hadaka jumped in from the line, pulled it to the open space, and couldn't get the stick on it to backhand it in the open side. And now a shot deflects. And a slow start for Finland and a great start for Canada in that game. And that for him last year at 46 games. There's a chance short-handed. Pudia in front of the upper gets the pads down post to post and had an unbelievable chance nice pass by Putia and puts it right back into the pads coming straight and when you push that hard like on fault has to if Petman can just hold on to it a little bit longer and then it goes to Russia here's a steal by Hanela Hanela tees it up save made by Olnefeld Andre after it came back door what a save by Olnefeld Forza Hedstrom lets the puck go by him, and the Brett Wiseman say, uh uh, there's not an icing there. Should have played the puck there, but gets it to his forehand and starts out. Hounded there by him. checking up Puhaka. Soderblum now trying to go coast to coast. Went to the backhand and kind of lost control of it. And then Lambert with a good stick to intercept that pass and deflect it away. Raymond carries in. Raymond to the backhand. He went and down, makes the save, and now a pile up. Lambert's on it. Lambert fires all the felt, gets a piece of it. Carson tracks it down, plays it down in the goal line for Nikonen. Back for Carson. Back for Nikonen. Carson takes the pass. Dimola. Parsonen, Raddy's in the high slot, Lambert on the near side. Nimala will hold this in. Now for Lambert. Lambert being watched by Broberg, backdoor play. And a bit of a in tight there for Parsonen. And special delivery. Yeah. Power play continues for Finland. Hanela on for Anton Lundell. Seaman Tybell in a battle in the high slot with Sunsvik. Hanela plays it back for Lundell. Shot score! Anton Lundell with his fourth of the tournament. Little back pass, and there it is, snapping it. It's 2 2 with 8.56 left, Dennis, and I'm not surprised one bit that this is a 2 2 game. What a shot by Anton Lundell. Keep in mind, this comes off of the offensive zone penalty by Emil Heinemann on the trip on Emil Vero. You know, after the first period, Finland has carried this game. After the first... Nine. In this tournament, at over 84%, cross-ice pass for Broberg, and it's kept away from him in an on-man rush. Kutia trying to get back to the front of that in a good defensive play. Plays it around for Lambert. Never did get to him. Shot. He run in the save. And then back up for Kokan and on for Nikonen. Nikonen with Puhaka. Puhaka gets a whack at it. And the puck loose. Finland trying to change. And here comes Sweden. Raymond drops for Holtz. Holtz wires it. He run and takes that one up high. And back the other way. Puhaka. Feeds it for Lambert. Lambert, the long shot, all the felt the save, and Soderstrom is on it. For Hainala on the near side. Hainala skates to open ice. Hainala finds some room. Hainala takes it around the net. Plays it back for Hadaka, and that shot got blocked and cleared away from Putia before he could get to it. Hainala right back in. Sends the long shot in. All the felt turns it aside. Off the sideboards. Lundell! Save made all the felt. Lundell on it again. Place for Hirvonen. Hirvonen center. Petman. Oh, what a chance. Scramble in front of the net. All the down. Score! 23.3 seconds left. 
and Finland has taken the lead. Well, right before this, off the skate of Cosmer, and it's centimeters of that puck going in, but then the Finns just stayed on the puck and they attacked the net. The play comes in front, Petman misses another opportunity, but Hervinen, who is so alert, zips around with the puck and slips it under the pad of Anna Fault, swinging around the other way, short side. Hervinen is always alert. He's always into the right spots, and when he sees an opening, he takes advantage. Look at the joy on the finished bench. What a chance. What a number of chances Petman has had oh. in this game. He had another one there. But Hirvonen stays with it, brings it out front, and finds the back of the net with 23.3 seconds left. Now, Ryan Rashog interviewed Elmer Soderblom after the second period. He said, we got to be more aggressive. We got to be more forceful.